Welcome to Creative Madness. Hello YouTube Nation, it's the Homie Game Guru and I'm back to give you another Creative Cardboard Craft video. I'm here in my basement to show you an idea that I came up for the next X-Men movie, Days of Future Past. Uh, I thought about the character Kitty Pride, Shadow Cat, and I just thought wouldn't it be cool to make a cardboard standee that looks like it's phasing through a door or a wall. And I'm going to show you guys how I made this craft. Firstly, you need to find a high resolution image of Kitty. I found one on Google Images of a figurine. Blow up the image to around 5 feet. And using blue guidelines in Photoshop, I set out 11 by 17 sized boxes throughout the entire image. The boxes are overlapping each other by one inch, so we could tape the printed image together. Print each 11 by 17 section of the full image on glossy 11 by 17 cardstock. I usually do this by sending the saved PDF files to my local print and copy store. The next step is trimming the edges of each image because printers do not do full bleeds, and lay out the sheets together on the floor to resemble the finished character. Just take your time with each section of the completed image and use small pieces of double-sided tape along the edge of the back of each image to stick down to align the joining image. Use weights not only to hold each paper down but also to elevate taped sections of the back of each sheet that you're going to press down on the adjoining images. Once the entire image is taped together, find a strong light source like natural sunlight coming through a patio window or large window Tape up the image backwards so you could see through it on the back and place double sided tape along the edges and center of the image. With the image covered in tape on the back, find a long piece of cardboard or tape multiple pieces together to stick down the image. Cut off any extra white space from the image to make it fit. Carefully place down the image and smooth it out on the cardboard. Using a sharp cutting blade, and a scrap piece of cardboard to protect your floors under the image you're about to cut. Carefully cut around the border of the image to separate her from the rest of the paper. Alright, so now that we have Kitty Pride all cut out and she's ready to go, we want to do the next step and make it look like she's phasing through the door, phasing through the wall. So ultimately what I want to do is have her waist downwards to her feet on one side of the door with her knee and waist in front through the other side and her hand and part of her hair on this side and just slightly above the ground so when I open and close the door, it's not dragging across the standee. I use a scrap piece of Bristol board to make the proper size cutout to separate the image based on the dimensions of the door, and use scrap wood blocks and Velcro strips along the edges to mount the image to the surface. Okay guys, so now I got my pieces all laid out. They're all split up. I got the pieces of wood there with the Velcro and I just, uh, just for insurance, I used a little bit of glue to keep them on. But here we go, and now the next step is to put them on the door so it looks like she's phasing through. You won't really be able to see it, but I put a very faint line along the door in pencil that I can erase out. And the reason why I put this line here is that I want to know how much distance away from the edge of the door I should put the pieces. So I just chose 10 inches as an arbitrary number, but I thought 10 inches away from the edge would be a good amount of distance. And from there, I'm going to put everything onto the door. And I'm going to put her foot, might as well just push the door all the way back. I'm going to put her foot just a little bit above the ground, because I don't want it to drag. Get a 10 inch marker. Right there. So there you go. So here you go YouTube Nation, here's my Kitty Pride slash Shadow Cat phasing through the door kind of craft. Uh, my cardboard standee technique just used in a more fun way to add a little bit more flair to any wall or door or anything that you want her to pass through. Very simple really, uh, just a little time and dedication and there you go. So I hope you guys like this idea. Please uh, comment, share, let me know your thoughts and anything else you want me to try. And of course, subscribe to the Cardboard Creative Madness. So I'm the homie Game Guru. You guys take care. And you know when I come out with more crazy cardboard crafts, I'm going to share it with all of you. All the best. 
and can't wait until the X-Men movie.